Hello everyone and welcome to another good morning. Again, I'm shooting this live action until my microphone situation is better. And today we are reviewing Bao, B-A-O, I don't actually know what that's supposed to say. I'm very ignorant to other people's cultures. Um, that being said, this is a film that took place uh, before I watched Incredibles 2. I knew I wasn't going to do a review for Incredibles 2 because one, I want to save my Pixar movies for some kind of master video one day, and because, um, you know, I like to have movies where I don't have to think about them so much. And uh, Pixar, these movies, I just watched Coco like a couple days ago. They are really hard-hitting emotional movies and this one despite it being a small little short film that took place before The Incredibles um, it was really interesting so we, we get this mother she's living her day-to-day -day life with her husband and suddenly she's eating this uh, I forget those roll things uh, I'm ignorant to other people's cultures and she basically eats a living version of it. It becomes like a little little guy. It's like a little pet thing. And she starts dressing it up and it goes with her to the supermarket and then it plays games with the other kids and then suddenly it gets a girlfriend and then it moves out of the house and doesn't say goodbye and then doesn't show up for the food that its mom made her or made him. And it just keeps going on from there, where this little piece of food becomes a son. And then at the end of the movie, like, she's begging him not to leave, she's begging him not to leave, she needs someone. And then he takes off, or is about to at least, and then she fucking eats him. And I was in a packed theater, uh, getting ready to watch this, because it was launch night for Incredibles. And the weirdest thing happens and the theater just breaks out into fucking like what and just laughter and fucking a bunch of male <laughs> in the background and I was just kinda lost too like where were they going with this this doesn't seem like a Pixar thing to do I mean this seems like a fucking I know it's a short film and short films get away with this type of shit but not like this not for Pixar and sure enough uh, as she's crying about this thing, uh, she then is approached by a guy dressed the same way as this piece of food. And they have dinner together, and then his girlfriend, who was the same girlfriend from earlier, shows up. Oh, it was all a metaphor. I guess she didn't eat this thing? I don't know. It seemed like they wanted to do that, but then they just kind of backed out because they couldn't. Um... Which, which, eh, it is what it is. It just, this could have been a better movie, but it was still a really cute movie. I do think the metaphor was, like, really obvious, but at the same time didn't make the whole, it didn't, it didn't make complete sense, if that makes sense. Um, it was a really interesting thing. Like, it was an interesting, I, there's a word I'm missing. It was just... A story that, like, could have just been a guy's... It could have just been her son for the movie. But they made it into something that uh, was a little bit more transformative. Um, the, the whole... My, my entire audience watching this theater probably just wanted to get The Incredibles started with. And were, some people were being a little bit disrespectful. Um, so I think that might have influenced my opinion just a tiny bit. But that being said, uh, maybe we're all ignorant to other people's, uh, cultures. Anyway, I'm gonna give this one a 6 out of 10. Um, it, at least I got a review out by going to the movies that day, so. That was my review for BAO, B-A-O. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you next time, and until then, with that... I leave you.